tired of getting PK'd? <gasps> My question is, what do you do about it typically? Do you just throw fit, rage quit, log into the Outlands Discord and complain saying that there's too many reds and say, we need trammel? Or do you figure out what went wrong? Do you, do you prepare yourself for the inevitable that you're gonna get attacked by murderers? Do you know what steps to use to prevent yourself from bidding PK? Well guys, I'm here to help you out today with some of those different things that you can do to help you from getting PK. So with that guys, sit back, grab yourself a beer, and let's talk about it. All right, the first thing is strength potions. These are amazing. I recommend carrying one of these on every single run, setting a hotkey to consume one, just like you would for a heal or a cure potion. They increase your hit points by 20, from 100 to 120. That's a significant amount. By popping one of these, when you immediately see a red, you are putting that red already at a disadvantage, as he will have to use more mana just to kill you now. Heal and cure potions. I mean, this one's obvious, right? But honestly, it is. It's something I find more and more commonly overlooked. Sure, I mean, they do cost gold, right? Nothing's free in this world, but you can't put a price on something you can instantly heal or cure that costs roughly 30 gold per potion. Are you tired of getting paraganked? You know, where two mages gank you by one holding a paralyze on you and the other one getting a massive dump ready that Goku power level 9,000 himself couldn't even muster in Super Saiyan mode. Come Come Trap pouches are a must. You can buy these from a mage shop for 25 gold each, or if you really want to save a little bit of cash, you can cast Magic Trap and consume three reagents on a pouch that you would buy from a provisioner for 10 gold. By setting a macro for your bracket pouch, your character will automatically open one, doing one point of damage to you and breaking Paralyze, giving you an opportunity to run away. Ropes, man, I love ropes. <laughs> Yeehaw! But in all seriousness though, they are awesome, giving you that 10 tile distance you need to get away. Make sure and enable the option to show how far your cursor is on cast, ensuring you don't rope too far, thus canceling the rope. Or sell yourself short and not rope away far enough. Also, Keep in mind that you can only rope and teleport once in combat every roughly two minutes. So if you can, hold off on your rope. Get them to teleport and rope in combat to you. And then you can use your rope to get your distance if you're choosing to run. But something to note as well. Most PKs are feared and immediately people run from them. So if you turn and fight them, there's a good chance it will catch them off guard and you could best them. So seriously, next time you start getting attacked by a red PK, go into war mode, double click that guy, and just stay on him. Just just do not let him out of your just that one tile range. Just keep bashing away. You'd be surprised how many fights you actually will win. Tracking and overheads. If you're a new player and dying is still detrimental to you, then I'd strongly suggest having tracking and making an overhead. This way, you see when a red is coming at you and it will show up over your head giving you time to hit your strength potion and rope away to the nearest moon gate. If you're uncertain how to do overheads, then check out this video. Here's another tip, carrying a faster weapon. I mean, sure, the Viking sword is an amazing sword for PVM, but if you carry a katana as well, somewhere deep in your bags and set it as a hotkey, there's a decent chance that you'll be able to kill mage PKs without them getting a spell off. Same for a war axe for macing or a kris for fencing a crossbow for archery. Speaking of being interrupted, uh, interrupts for mage players. Now think about this, circles one through five are your friend. Set up easy to get to hotkeys and learn to interrupt. Try and time the drops on their casts. Don't be the guy who always spams explosion, e-bolt, 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 e-bolt. They can easily get a heal off between e-bolts and then you're out of mana looking there sitting like a sitting duck. 
keep in mind, you can't just spam magic arrow over and over again just because it casts the fastest. Some of the more obvious things are fighting near moon gates. I mean, sure, it's easy to run around a dungeon looking for whatever is up to kill, but if dying is really, really a big issue for you, just take it slow. Stay near a moon gate. A moon gate script. Speaking of moon gates, check out Jason's YouTube channel at outlands.uorazorscripts.com and then search for his moon gate jumper script. It'll save you a few seconds as you jump through a moon gate by just hitting a button rather than trying to bullseye a few buttons on a gump. This one I know everybody's told you, but make some friends. If you're farming with two or three other people and the moment you all see a red, you just all engage them, I mean, there is very little chance he is making it out alive. If it's a swarm of reds, then load up some greater hills, chug those strength bots, and head for the moon gate and practice cross healing as you make your way out. This game is a ton of fun due to the risk versus reward, but the second PKs are out of this game, it would be a snooze fest that eventually would be another low population PVM only shard. So use these tips. Practice PVP because it's the only way to get good at it is to participate. You'll notice you dying less and less the more aggressive you become and the more you participate. There you go guys, there's a couple tips that could help you prevent yourself from getting killed by red PKs or blue baiting PKs, either way. I hope you guys take some of these to heart and if you have some tips of your own, put them in the comment section below. That way hopefully they reach somebody else as well. Shout out to the Patreons, the channel members, and you for liking this video as it helps with discoverability for myself, but also UO Outlands in general. Make sure and come by the live streams most evenings at 8.30 p.m. Eastern right here on YouTube. And one last thing guys, do me a favor also, comment below some different video suggestions as it really helps me kind of understand what the community would like me to go over next. But other than that guys, I'll see you next time. Pwn Star Gaming out.